Hello world, I'm Brancliffe. Before we start this video, there's something I gotta say. A lot of people will click off my YouTube videos if the title has one game and the on-screen footage is of another game. Guys, one, the gameplay footage being shown on screen is generally not the point of the video, it's just there so that something is there. And two, the Grand Chase CBT is over. I cannot get any more gameplay footage because it is currently impossible to get more video of the official Grand Chase server. I will be showing something else. Okay? Do you understand? And with that in mind, let's talk about Grand Chase. As the Grand Chase CBT started, many people were in for a rude awakening. As Grand Chase shut down in the year 2013, it closed off with a character roster size of 20. When Grand Chase was reawakened in 2021, it downscaled that roster from 20 to... 3... But on its website, it still advertises 20 characters. We all hopped in game and saw that actually there weren't 20 characters, there were 3 a whopping 15% of the promised characters. I pointed this out in my last video on the matter and received some backlash for it. Oh, but Fred, if it's a CBT, they ask the characters for testing. They'll be in the official release. And to that, I have but one question for you. Do you have any evidence? Hmm. Okay, let's talk about this. Korean online games games has been terrible about communication. I'm recording this video the day before it goes up, hopefully they don't pull out the rug like immediately after this video goes out or something, but right now there is a very sad five official announcements for the game. From the bottom up, we have a post asking people to join the CBT, a post saying the CBT schedule, a post saying the CBT started, a post announcing a maintenance, and a post about the CBT ending. These people have been so horribly quiet about things and have not explained themselves to really any capacity. We were not told that any changes to the game at all would be made. So logging in and seeing a new UI, only three characters, and skill removals was a pretty shocking wake-up call. Because the official announcements have been pretty worthless, people have resorted to trading customer support tickets for information. We should not have to do that. Consider this, these people didn't even have the decency to explain whether or not accounts, progress, and username would be wiped after the CBT ended, at least announcing it publicly. We could guess whether or not they would, but that's just it, a guess. At least until a customer support ticket circulated saying that they would. But don't you think that's something that should be explained up front? Like only having 15% of the advertised characters? Let's talk about the status of those characters. People aren't sure if the characters will be available from the start, or if they'll be re-released over time. Now, maybe you think they should be available right away, and maybe you think they shouldn't, but that's not the point of this video. Something like this is very important, and because it's important, it should be publicly announced. Going back to the idea of people circulating customer support tickets, here's a screenshot of a customer support ticket that was shared with me. It says, Hi Chaser, thank you for contacting us. We are glad to see you are playing our game again. I understand that you are concerned if all characters will be available once the game is officially launched. I am afraid we cannot disclose yet any future updates of the game, but don't worry we will post any announcements in our official Steam page. All these people being all like, oh, pff, don't listen to those people. I know the future of this game. I'm an insider. My, my, my uncle works at Nintendo. There's a Mew hidden under the truck. You do not know what they are going to do. Because I, I guess they don't know what they're going to do. Or maybe it's possible they do know what they're going to do, but there is no reason to hide this information. If they are not going to cut the characters, that's great news, so they should be shouting it from the rooftops so people will be relieved. If they are going to cut the characters, it would be beneficial to tell players so that they can level their expectations instead of getting hung up on how they want to play like the 19th character and we'll have to wait for him to drop. And that can make them sit down and think, well maybe I would be okay with playing Elysis for a while or something. Or is Korean online games games too afraid to admit that their game is going to take 20 steps back from how it was before? If they're ashamed to tell us that, then maybe they can't stick to their convictions. And in that case, maybe they should rethink them. 
are the remaining 85% of the characters going to be in the game? I hope so, because their shit keeps clogging up my already limited inventory space. I've got no one to put this druid axe on when there are no playable druids, even though druids already existed 8 years ago. But here's what it comes down to. Will the other 17 characters be in the game at launch? The answer is not yes. The answer is not no. The answer is we don't know. And until an official announcement or verified customer support ticket is released, that's what the answer is going to be. But I know some kid is going to come back after this matter has been resolved and say, Well, Rap, this video aged bad because the characters were there. In the past, I made a video called, Will Elsword get a new character in 2020? It did, and naturally someone went back to that video after said character was already announced and said yes. Thank you, very cool, very strong contribution. We couldn't have done it without you. I know someone is going to ignore this video entirely and just get pissy in the comments, and when they do, I'm just going to give them a timestamp to this part of the video where I say, the lack of characters is only part of the problem. I'm an ARMA main, so I'll be okay. Whether or not the characters are there at launch or not is actually not the point of this video. The true problem at play here is the complete lack of communication from KOG. Not only did they not tell us anything about the game's cast that they are still advertising on their website, as it currently stands these are complete lies, but they haven't told us anything about the game in general. They wouldn't tell us if there'd be a wipe, they wouldn't tell us if there was a new UI, they wouldn't tell us if the game would get further development or more things to play as. In fact, going back to the 5 announcement posted on Steam, none of them said anything about the content of the game whatsoever. Do people understand how worthless this company has been? And it's not wrong to expect better of KOG, because they are doing better in Kurtzbell. Kurtzbell still gets regularly updated with new fashion and game changes. There are rebalances, engine changes, and new things to do. And when they change something about the game, you know what they do? They explain themselves! In case you don't understand the gravity of the situation, KOG is putting more transparency into Kurtzbell than they are for Grand Chase. The completely garbage service from this company is baffling, and you should be demanding better from them. It wouldn't take much effort to just write a blog post explaining themselves. It's not like this game has two divorced parents like Elsword, which also has developer transparency by the way. This game is developed and produced by the same company, Korean Online Games Games. Two last things before we close out this video. Number one, I already addressed this in the last video, but it seems some people in the comments still don't seem to understand, so stop aiming your frustrations at me. You need to understand that I am on your side. I am trying to pressure KOG into fixing up their old clunky game and provide more clear, transparent service. I am trying to help you. We are working together. Do you understand? Number two. Alright, it's near the end of July, and KOG's goal for the game's release is sometime in August. That doesn't mean it will be in August, but that's their goal, I guess. Release dates don't mean much anymore, they always get pushed back, but when the game does launch for real, I will get a little into it and make some videos about it. So if you're coming along for the weird ride that is this game's necromancy revival, consider a sub. I mean, if you're going to watch videos about the game, you may as well, right? And you can change your mind later. I'm Brancliff. Goodbye, everyone.